Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the beta release of my cross gantry printer. So this printer is using the remnants of uh, carbon core, rest in peace carbon core. Um, I'm very lucky that the frame literally just worked out perfectly. I had to just rotate the top 2040 extrusion so I kind of get the two widths or the two channels here that I can mount rails in. I use the inner channel here to mount my MGN 12s and it worked out perfectly for belt alignment, keeping everything inside. So that's pretty nice. This printer is using a Rapido and a Sailfin direct drive extruder. The tool head is a custom design um, of the EVA 3 universal. So I took the EVA 3's kind of universal shell and I modified it to work on this printer. And I made minimal modifications to it so that extruder pods from the EVA 3 will work. So you can relatively easy use whatever extruder you want on this printer. Um, you basically just have to make some cutouts for the screw uh, heads so that the pod will fit flush inside very very minor so um, the repeater one will be on the github and then more to follow i'm sure i am going to be releasing this printer with two different z types it's going to be a lead screw z or a belted z i originally built this printer with a belted z and it worked out fine and then um i wanted to try some things out do some comparisons that type of thing so i designed the the lead screw z and again, luckily the 2040 frame allowed me to just basically use the same STLs and just punch a hole in them for the lead screw. I'm actually really liking the lead screw. There's less parts involved, less printed parts, less nuts and bolts, less pulleys, less idlers. It's, it's definitely the simplified version of the Z. So I'm actually really, really liking that. Um... I'm using a Fisec Spider. That's kind of just what I ordered for Carbon Core. The spec for this printer will be an MKS Monster 8. Um, it's kind of the cheapest 8 driver board you can get. Any 8 driver board will work fine, whatever you would like to use. Um, it of course supports Clicky Probe. You can see my Clicky mount here. I'm actually using Bijou's um, Clicky <laughs> Probe. I have to still design a mount for my Meanwell, a 200 watt Meanwell. And then I have to mount my uh, heater. I'm uh, in Rolohan style. I'm kind of just printing on painter tape here. As soon as I get the printer printing, I just kind of want to keep going and I don't want to finish it. Same goes for the wiring. Um, generally, the power supply will mount at the bottom corner here. And then there'll be a back panel and all the uh, electronics will mount at the back. That's just kind of generally how I do my printers. Um, all MGN 12s, the Z and the XY MGNs are all 12s. I wanted this printer to be like kind of as strong and as beefy as possible. Um, I'm still tuning the printer as far as a slicer profile and also getting input shaper and stuff like that running. Right now I'm just running um, 12,000 acceleration and then I'm changing the acceleration based on the print. So 5,000 outer. Um, that type of thing, but the print quality I'm very happy with. The part cooling fan here, if you can see, is a EVA Trihorn that I modified for to work with the tool head and also uh, so you can mount the 5015. Uh, sits, the 5015 sits nice and clean in the back there. There's plenty of room for it. I'm using a 12 volt 5015 that I'm over volting to 24 volts. So um, generally on this setup you can get a benchy around 17 minutes, uh, a nice clean benchy in the 17 uh, minute range which is uh, quite nice. I'm very happy with that. Um, the, the frame is proving to be uh, nice and rigid. There's definitely a lot of room here for modifications, that type of thing. Um, it's I mean, simple to build just with these corner brackets. There's no, nothing else holding the frame together. I kind of just built this on my desk um, and everything seemed to square up rel relatively nicely. Um, 
10 millimeter belts. Same for the Z is using 10 millimeter as well. So trying to keep things as simple as possible. I'm hoping or planning on maybe naming this printer Defiant. Um, it's defying a little bit of the norm for cross gantry printers, so it's relatively cheap. It's about 950 USD or 900 USD, depending on what you have, what you want to use, that type of thing. Um, so I like that, and then I like the frame. Um, the frame is very, very robust and very defiant. The movement, that type of thing. Um, it's heavy. It's um, just kind of a nice printer. Plus I'm a fan of Star Trek, so I kind of like the name Defiant and it's a nice, simple, clean name um, that you'll be able to recognize that for this printer. Um, this is a beta release, so the GitHub of course will have everything on it. However, the CAD is definitely gonna mature and change throughout the history and uh, lifespan of this printer. I don't foresee any mechanical changes um, with parts and that type of thing. So I'm pretty happy with the rails that I spec'd out and um, the frame and stuff like that. There are some key notes to make though with this. My Y rail here, um, I actually, it's a bit too long. It's a 450. Um, however, this printer is shorter on the Y. So a 400 rail is actually what I would want here so that it doesn't stick past the frame. This does stick past just slightly. However, that should be easily rectified with just a 400 millimeter uh, rail. So there's definitely some changes that I need to make. That's probably the one uh, bill of materials kind of change is shortening that rail up. Um, the other rail, the other 450 rail does fit fine because the frame is a little bit wider on the X. Um, the MGN 12s here, I believe these are 350. However, I think 300 would be okay for spec, but I don't know if I'm gonna change that much. Um, I'm really liking the fact that all the rails actually mount directly to the frame, so they're nice and sturdy and it's very easy to align them so that they're parallel with each other and there's no weird um, fluctuations and that type of thing in the mounting of the rails and whatnot. So I'm really, really happy with that. I've learned a lot with this printer, with the frame and Z and that type of thing. So this is using a Rapido. Um, that's kind of my uh, hot end of choice, but like I say, I'll probably eventually modify the other EVA 3 extruder pods so that you can use um, different extruders. I did also leave the top of the EVA 3 untouched so that you can still put in the threaded inserts and you can still put in uh, an extruder mount for an Orbiter or a BMG or LGX or anything like that, which uh, as long as they clear the linear rails, you should have no problems with that. Um, I'm just printing out a Rolo cube here. The layers um, are pretty hard to see, but they do look quite nice. The printer um, is very nice as far as speed and stuff like that is concerned. Here is a example of a polymaker scientist on this printer. I mean, I really can't complain, honestly. It's uh, it's quite a nice print. This can be uh, somewhat of a challenging print to print uh, quick. So this is quite nice. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a quick breakdown here of my cross gantry printer. Like I say, this is a beta release. Things are going to change. Um, I'm still trying to figure out the sizes of the linear rails. I think they're a little bit bigger than they need to be, like I was talking about with the Z. I want to change the belt tensioners. Um, they're just a little bit overly complicated and they're not that nice to use. They use too many, too much hardware um, and they're kind of like busy. I want to simplify them down. 
uh, quite a bit, but uh, everything was printed here uh, with Polymaker ABS, and that worked out great. Everything's nice and rigid, uh, especially like the, the Z mounts here, I made very, very uh, strong so that there's no uh, deflection or anything like that. Same, same thing for the bed mounts. I am just using a 250 by 250 piece of glass. I'll just put my heater directly on the glass. I don't man it. I don't think I'm gonna be mounting or uh, putting a, an enclosure on this. This is just gonna be a PLA printer. Once I make my mounts for my power supply and power switch and all that kind of stuff, I'll probably just make a back panel for it. Clean everything up a little bit. Um, that type of thing and uh, this will be my printer for that and then I can just keep developing the CAD and that type of thing. As with all my other printers I really hope um, people mod this and play around with it. Um, I think it's a good platform if anyone interested in cross gantry. There's not many cross gantry printers out there and definitely not many that are in this price range. So um, yeah if you have any comments or questions definitely leave them below. Uh, Definitely, please feel free to join my Discord. There's going to be a lot of information um, as this printer evolves on there. If you want to support me, you can support me on Patreon. I have that in the description as well. And uh, thank you for watching.